Hello guys, this is Arthur from Vector E-Bike and uh, right now on in uh, Milan making a small video for you from the exhibition about motorcycles and it's pretty closely focused on electric vehicles so there are a lot of interesting things, new technologies, development, a lot of new companies and uh, I hope I will find uh, new things we can implement in our business as well I hope it's going to be interesting for you. I will try to show you the most <laughs> interesting technologies that I will find here. Uh, still, there are plenty of uh, companies presenting their combustion engines motorcycle, but uh, such parts as uh, brake, suspension and so on are still interesting for us and I hope for you as well. So, uh, let's see what we will cover today. I have here two days. So we will see what we can check in two days in this exhibition in Milan. Pure electric chopper. I'm not sure if you saw this. Very interesting concept. With a belt on the back. Plenty of electric vehicles, like smaller and lighter. You can see here a lot of scooters. And of course conventional combustion engines, motorcycles. Everything is here. Fully carbon body bicycles with a supernova light interesting concept not sure it's a final product we can ask it magura brakes leverage suspension so guys, <laughs> I'm not sure you have seen something like this before. It's really interesting concept. It's like a supermodel. Everything is carbon, the handle parts are carbon, the frame is carbon. I bet only the rims are not carbon, but Thirty-seven with the battery. Thirty-seven. Okay, maybe I, I feel a bit stronger now. That's why I said that. Uh, this it starts from seven thousand euro, but it's just the story. Have you found already dealers in Europe? Found what? Dealers? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. That's the that's the debut. When do you plan to start selling? Right after the fair, yes. Just for the optic, right? That's for the that's for the engine. It's hidden oh, the over there. Uh, yes. Okay. What's the? Uh, do you know any specification about the bike? Let me record you if you don't mind. Tons of them. Wait a second. What's, uh, I'll, I'll look at my cheat sheet. Let me record this and the guys will pause when they want to see it. Okay, great. Well, what can I say? Amazing bike. I'll be glad to see them on the street. And the manufacturing is fully in Moscow. Yes. Okay, great. We got the parts of assembled them in Moscow. And this, for those who didn't know, the Harley Davidson also produced an electric motorcycles. 
So they try to compete with the new startup companies that produce an electric motorcycles. And they have also electric motorcycles. Here you can see it. No exhaust pipe. It's a bit designed uh, to be in the style of, in the family of Harley Davidson, but it's fully electric. Yeah, would be interesting to try it on the street. I think the price is about the price is about around thirty-five thousand plus minus. Beautiful. If you look for the scooters for the street, you can find here very interesting models. For those of you who ask for vehicle transportation for the city, I think scooter is the most comfortable. You have, you can have a wind protection. You have capacity for carry some items. It's still relatively cheap vehicles, easy to charge, and it's already certified, I believe. Great. For those of you who has a range on anxiety and scared to be without energy in their battery on the road, is the first hybrid motorcycle. can you show us how it's work purely electric? Sure. Basically, this bike, you have a selector, okay? You speak English? Yes, yes. One is pure turbine, the bike is normal. And two is pure electric. Three is boost like the cars, boost mode, and four is recharge. So when you want to do pure electric, you have to put two. You need to have your internal combustion engine switched off, and you need to have the gear in neutral. Otherwise, the pure electric doesn't watch out. Others are the pure electric doesn't start. Then, when you use it in pure electric, you don't need to shift gear. Yeah, single gear, right? Eh? Single gear, one gear. Like a scooter. It's like a scooter. When you put boost, you change the gear Both. And, and you arrive at 300 of power. Wow. What's the, and 300 Nm. What's the power of purely electric uh, motor? 100 of power. 100 horsepower, 60 kilowatt. 80 kilowatt. 80 kilowatt. So here you go guys. Next level motorcycles. It's presented by Festa company. If some of you are looking for protection, here you can find wide range. Did you know that Harley Davidson producing electric bikes? I didn't. Let's see closer which components they use. Internal hub gear, mid-drive motor. Good choice. Harley Davidson. Interesting. For women, for men. Right? And this is the model I told you about, fully electric. A huge brand like Yamaha didn't offer a single model electric. What a shame.
how to like this concept bike from BMW. Guys, what do you think about this concept? It get a lot of interest recently from different manufacturers. This, this type of frame. You can ride two person on one bike. Well, let me know what you think about it. I'm now walking next to the Honda stand. And I must say I'm a bit disappointed that big trinity from Japan like Honda, Suzuki and Yamaha didn't offer electric vehicles here. I think they will be in the situation like the German car manufacturers when they let Tesla go ahead and then, and then they will try to catch up. But nobody sleep, so we'll see. There are some interesting concepts here, like this one, fully electric, but I'm surprised there is no any products from uh, big companies like Honda or Suzuki or Yamaha. Yeah, it's strange. Check this bike out. Here you can see the, the motor down there, three phase and the gearbox and then the belt drive to the rear wheel. Interesting concept. I'd say I like it. I like it, yep. This is even more interesting this for me. Off-road vehicle. I think it's a concept bike. But look amazing. Yep. What do you think? So guys, check this out, the Taiwanese company was with the manufacturing in Vietnam, it's gonna be 140 kilometers range motorcycle with a mid-drive motor, looks sexy for me. You can check all the specs on the website, I'm sure, they don't have any sales or distributors in Europe or anywhere else, And but they told me they will start sales beginning spring I like this color yeah, perfect. XL rims sprockets chains I think you all know zero motorcycles and I don't need to introduce you them. But anyway, we have a stand here and that's cool. I 
I really happy that the companies like this exist. I think with the technologies developing around the batteries, we will see drop in the price of this vehicle, especially with more competitors on the market. But you see, interest is there, investments are there. Great way to start. Plug a charger. There's one more. Electric Hello. motorcycle. Hello. Yes. So where do you come from? Germany. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Germany. Just a second, I want to make a did the first. Check this out, guys. It's a hollow frame design. <laughs> it's looking interesting. You don't see it from front, but from the side. Look super light because of this design. Yeah, interesting concept. See? Just compare this and this. Yeah. Check this out. I bet you haven't seen those wheels on a regular scooter next to your house. <laughs> That's one hell of design. Can I? Look at those wheels. Amazing. We have a one side connection. That's a futuristic design with a camera, with a GoPro. That's a nice looking bike. And it's electric. And this is how it looks like in parts. You can see it here. So the motor is in a rear wheel. Let me go here. So this is the motor of the bike. You have a copper windings with the magnets. And the magnets here inside the wheel. Definitely interesting design. I think one of the most interesting I've seen today on the exhibition. Right. One more Asian manufacturer that produce electric vehicles.
I can see here the brand of the motor. It's a belt drive. Hello. Can you tell me more about this uh, vehicle? Like, uh, what motor do you use? Is it like uh, from some bigger manufacturer or you produce your own motors? Uh, we, we produce our own motors. Okay. And the battery, charge. Everything, uh, right? Have our own brand. We call it a cloud system. Okay, great. So, one more electric motorcycle company. I believe it's called Horvin. So it's just 7.2 kilowatt power and the battery is about 3.5 kilowatt hour. But we get in there guys. Hang in. Hold on. I think in like 10 years we'll be laughing about this battery capacity. But I'm glad people are working on it. I still don't understand why do you need a geared transmission for electric vehicle. Probably when you have a low powered motor, it's a good option, but anyway. I'd rather have a more powerful vehicle with a single gear. You can see in white color. In blue. Still not digital screen, but well. Do you guys use Enduro shoes while you're riding your e-bikes? I know a lot of clients who has our bikes wearing them, and I actually think it's a good idea. It doesn't matter if you're riding motorcycle or e-bike. Safety first. I like this product. Form 16. I know some of the clients who get injuries. And this this protection would help them to prevent those type of injuries. I think it's a good idea. Why not? You're riding to get fun and not to get injured, right? QS motor for the win. I'm interested in which model of motors they use. The cable is not that thick as I thought. Okay. That's a big bike with a small motor. <laughs> 11 kilowatt. I guess it's this model. Nice Vespa design, you would say, right? Ta da! It's not the Vespa with the Chinese brand. <laughs> to me, it looked like a Vespa, sure. If you guys wonder who produced the Suron batteries, it's a company called Greenway. Greenway produces the Suron batteries. 
means it produced many other berries, like Super Soho and many others. Nice. They even have a server on here, I understand. Let's start. So, hello guys, I found uh, June, who is responsible for sales of yeah. the Sunron. And uh, right now we are standing next to the new model they will offer beginning next year, right? In the springtime. Uh, simple, simple to be uh, offered, be offered uh, at the beginning of next year. How, how do you think, like, on what, what stage are you now with the homologation? Uh, for this bike, we will have this more plus version and we will have the studio conversion. For the studio conversion, we are doing easy homologation this moment. Okay, so you're in the process of homologation right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So t t t t tell our uh, viewers a little bit more about this bike. So I heard it's going to be 115 kilograms plus minus, right? How heavy it's going to be? Uh, you mean the weight? Yeah. Uh, uh, it will be uh, it will be uh, one 100, uh, 130 kilo kilograms or 150 kilograms. This moment, 130 or 150? Yeah, this moment we are doing uh, some adjustment and uh, the final details will be confirmed maybe in December. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. And uh, what's the material for the frame? Is it aluminium? Or yeah, steel? aluminium. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's the, the capacity of the battery, as I heard, is going to be around 3.5 kilowatt hour, right? No, 4.6. 4.6, okay, great. And like, does it support any any type of like fast charging or uh, it the will charging come? time will be about three hours three hours yeah. will it go with its own charger or it support uh, like uh, you know like uh, electric car charger plug so you can charge it like no uh, um, for the charger uh, it's just uh, you can normally use uh, at home a wall socket okay yeah, yeah and the full time of charging will be three hours yeah very impressive, right? So the bike will come with the ABS brakes, right? For the road legal version, we will come uh, with the ABS. But for the motocross version, it may not come with the ABS. With our, okay, yeah. I see. And like, you planning the retail price, the most interesting probably question for our viewers will be how much, what price will be, how much they can expect. It's going to be in around like 7,000. I'm not minus. sure because uh, until now we, uh, we 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 are checking we are checking uh, the, the the material cast and uh, and the accountant is uh, doing the calculation. Maybe maybe at the end of uh, this year or the beginning of next year we will have the uh, we will have the the price for uh, the price calculation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. But right now you don't have like uh, dealers uh, for this product in like Europe or USA. Uh, so in fact we we are uh, we we uh, uh, distribute this uh, this product uh, uh, around the Net B uh, sales yeah. network. Yeah. For example, uh, in, uh, in Germany uh, we will uh, distribute through KSS uh, distribute network, and uh, for UK we will uh, distribute uh, Urban Moto or Ofos sales network. Okay, great. Well, looking forward for this amazing bike. Can you tell me about the suspension? Which company you will work for the suspension? Uh, for the simple, for the simple, uh, it's from Fastes. But uh, for mass, uh, for the mass production, we 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 uh, we will have uh, Fastes and uh, KYB suspensions for customers to choose. The Japanese brand, right? Uh, I think it's a, it's a Europe. Uh, Brand, but, oh, uh, really? okay. but many, but many in, in, in Japan also KYB has the same uh, factory in China. Okay, okay, okay. What else? The motor here is two times more powerful than in a light B, right? Yeah, the big power for this bike is uh, this moment. Uh, it's uh, it's set uh, to be uh, twenty-two point five kilowatt. And on a light B, the peak power was like six kilowatt, right? Yeah. So yeah, you can see guys, it's like two times more power. The gearing ratio will be closed inside. So it's not open style like the Light B. It's gonna be in its own like closed casting, right? Yeah. Like, let me go around. Like I saw here, 
like the gearbox will be enclosed so it cannot be damaged yeah. uh, with oil inside right yeah, with oil inside and uh, for the gearbox it's, it's, it's just uh, for reduction for reduction right yeah, yeah. Just for reduction. so it's basically, basically it's like single gear yeah, but yeah, with a gear. reduction okay okay so the main weight of the bike will come from the battery basically and mm. motor right the main weight uh, the main weight uh, yeah the battery and the motor and uh, a lot of people were asking like in a sun run you can swap the batteries but this will be fixed right you cannot no. swap the batteries you can here. also swap the battery. you you also can yeah, swap. just uh, open the open the seat and then you can and then in this sample, can you also like show it how it's open or it's closed now? No, the sample is closed. I see, I see. Uh, how, how heavy is going to be the battery then? Like around like 30 kilo? Yeah, something like that. 30 kilo, right? Yeah, maybe. With the BMS case, everything yeah, like yeah. around 30 kilo. Maybe, maybe we're a little more, uh, maybe uh, the width will be a little less. A bit less, okay. Yeah. So yeah, if the whole bike will be 130, and the battery is like 30. Without battery, the bike will be around 100 kilograms. Yeah. Okay, great. And uh, what 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 warranty do you expect for the bike? Will you have like separate, you know, like automotive industry, like uh, electric cars, they give like warranty for the suspension and everything, let's say like two, three years. And for the battery, they give, let's say like five years. Do you have like, different uh, warranty for your components of the bike or will it be like uh, one single warranty for for a complete bike like two years for whole bike or... uh, for this for this uh, I can I can tell you uh, for the M uh, motor parts version uh, will be different uh, uh, as the uh, road vehicle version mm -hmm. but for all the details I think um, uh, customers will uh, we'll find all the details on the owner's manual. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I see. So, really looking forward to see this model next spring. Yeah. I think we have a lot of clients asking for a street legal machine. Uh, and you said you're already in the process of homologation, right? Yes. yes. So, I hope next spring it's going to be already available I hope on so. the market. I, hope so. I also hope. And we're... Uh, we'll keep in touch with you about the retail price because I think yeah. after New Year perhaps you will have more details about yeah. this. Yes. Great. Okay. So this was June, guys. Let's tell. Let's tell. Thank you to him for about uh, for this information and this wonderful bikes they have. I hope we can see them soon on the streets. Day two on exhibition. And check this out. This concept. Like Bob Marley said, why do you need drink and drive when you can smoke and fly, right? <laughs> That's something from 2000, not from 2000 already. That's already like 3000. What do you say about this, Elon Musk? Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Interesting design concept Got milk? Uh, sorry. Got juice? <laughs> yeah, hi. Sir, you give me the link? Sure, of course. Okay. So, this is a company called uh, Blue Break. And they have a revolutionary product, the ABS brakes for the bikes. Yes, our product uh, can be totally integrated inside the frame of the bikes. Okay. And uh, it's composed of a speed sensor and a phonic wheel on the front. Mm -hmm. 
they detect all the information about the speed of the bike and transmit the information for the computer that's placed here. And, uh, Do you have a sensor only on the rear wheel or on the front on the wheel front, as well? Only on the front okay. wheel. We have sensor inside uh, the control unit that can measure the speed of the frame. And oh wow, acceleration you mean. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, here, the, this is the brain of the system. It mm -hmm. has uh, all the algorithms that are patented by Blue Break and uh, they tell uh, what to do to the actuator. That is the mechanical part that modulates the pressure in the brakes. So, and uh, it avoids the front wheel lock up and the rear wheel lift off that are the two major causes uh, of, uh, of falls when riding any bike. So it uh, basically modulates the power of brake for front and rear, only on the front, yes. okay. Yeah, basically, yeah, if you lock the rear brake, nothing gonna happen. Yes, the thing to, is that, you can uh, avoid the 95% yeah, of the course, yeah. So the, if you put uh, both on the front and on the rear, it would uh, be a double weight, double system. And, and uh, you can implement it not only for the street bike, but also for the mountain bike as yes. well, right? Let's see. This is uh, the bike of uh, one of our clients. Okay. It's a police bike. They yeah. use the four models with uh, the brake and gas. Yeah. And uh, they are... Uh, some of them are about the bikes. And it's so, on this system. bike it's also already applicated? This, uh, on this bike the ABS system is already implemented? Yes. yes. Interesting. Yeah, uh, it's uh, everything here in the top. So right now are you interested only in uh, B2B or B2C as well? No, we only sell it to the bike manufacturers. Okay, yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's a safety disposal, yeah. so we want it to be controlled and checked. Installed. We stand next to pavilion of Energetica and you can see here fully electric motorcycle in the specs Here we can see a KTM Freeride. I believe it's the last uh, modification they have. They have very similar design to what uh, Sauron will announce. I believe you can buy this bike in retail for about 12,000 euro plus minus. They have 18 kilowatts power and the battery ah, don't see it here okay That's the funniest part. Halogen bulb in electric bike. Really? KTM. Come on. You can do it better. Interesting concept. Never seen a here. Can you
you pull the throttle? Can you change parameters how it sounds to, to simulate another engine? Yes, not just sound and vibration because they have also vibration, mm -hmm. but the most important thing is the performance. performance. You can emulate all the performance of all motor motorcycle in uh, in the world. Wow, interesting. Yes, with completely different gearbox and, uh, and clutch. Oh, we're an e-bike manufacturer, so a lot of people uh, buy our bikes because they are silent. But some sometimes they like to have a fun, you know. Uh, you can you have crazy torque with the e-bike and you can do it yeah, donuts as yeah. well. It's fun, yeah. not just fun. Yeah, it's fun. Because oh. is fun. Exactly. Not like not they are missing the exhaust or something, but you know oh. the, the sound. It's a cool thing. Can you show some other like uh, yeah, sound yeah, prototypes? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Here we have a Kawasaki trying to do a prototype, but as I understand they have it with a gear, see, four gears, battery on top. Just to explain you guys how much support and how much importance two-wheel transport motorcycles especially get here in Italy. <laughs> On the main square you have advertisement of the exhibition. <laughs> nice. So far I'm much more impressed with uh, Asian manufacturers. They have much bigger variety of the electric vehicles, components and uh, design kits. And uh, it's really strange that they already understood this and some big manufacturers perhaps hard for them to, to switch. But we'll see. But meanwhile, check this out. Nice cake. Follow the sun and let's be together high to the moon So the moon was high Follow the sun and let's be together high to the moon So the moon was high Follow the sun and let's be together